Michael John Douglas, known professionally as Michael Keaton, is an American actor, producer, and director. He first rose to fame for his roles on the CBS sitcoms All Sphere and the Mary Tyler Moore Hour and his comedic film roles in Night Shift, MR, Mom, Johnny Dangerously, and Beetlejuice. He earned further acclaim for his dramatic portrayal of the title character in Tim Burton's Batman in Batman Returns. Since then, he has appeared in a variety of films ranging from dramas and romantic comedies to thriller and action films, such as Clean and Sober, The Dream Team, Pacific Heights, Much Ado About Nothing, My Life, The Paper, Multiplicity, Jacket Brown, Herbie, Fully Loaded, The Other Guys, Robocop, Need for Speed, Spotlight, The Founder, Spider-Man, Palm Coming, and has also provided voices for characters in animated films such as Cars, Toy Story 3, and Minions. Keaton's lead performance in Birdman or earned him a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy, the Critics' Choice Award for Best Actor and Best Actor in a Comedy, and nominations for the Screen Actors Guild Award, British Academy Film Award, and Academy Award for Best Actor. He previously received a Golden Globe Award nomination for his performance in Live from Baghdad and a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for the company. Keaton was awarded a Career Achievement Award from the Hollywood Film Festival. On the 18th of January, 2016, he was named Officer of Order of Arts and Letters in France. He is also a visiting scholar at Carnegie Mellon University. Michael John Douglas, the youngest of seven children, was born in Ohio Valley Hospital in Kennedy Township, Pennsylvania, on September 5, 1951. He was raised between Coraopolis and Forest Grove, Pennsylvania, his father, George A. Douglas, worked as a civil engineer and surveyor, and his mother, Leona Elizabeth, a homemaker, came from McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania. Keaton was raised in a Roman Catholic family and is of half-Irish descent through his mother. His father was of English, German, Scottish, and Scotch-Irish ancestry and was originally from a Protestant family. Keaton attended Montour High School in Robinson Township, Pennsylvania, and studied speech for two years at Kent State University, where he appeared in plays and returning to Pennsylvania to pursue his career. Keaton first appeared on TV in the Pittsburgh public television programs Where the Heart Is and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. For Mr. Rogers he played one of the Flying Zucchini brothers and served as a full-time production assistant. Keaton also worked as an actor in Pittsburgh theater. He played the role of Rick in the Pittsburgh premiere of David Rabe's Sticks and Bones with the Pittsburgh Poor Players. He also performed stand-up comedy during his early years in order to supplement his income. Keaton left Pittsburgh and moved to Los Angeles to begin auditioning for various TV parts. He popped up in various popular TV shows including Maud and the Mary Tyler Moore Hour. He decided to use a stage name to satisfy SAG rules as there was already an actor and daytime host with the same or similar names. In response to questions as to whether he selected his new surname due to an attraction to actress Diane Keaton, or in homage to silent film actor Buster Keaton, he has responded by saying it had nothing to do with that. Keaton has said in several interviews that he searched a phone book under K, saw Keaton and decided to stop looking. Keaton's film debut came in a small non-speaking role in the Joan Rivers film Rabbit Test. His next big break was working alongside Jim Belushi in the short-lived comedy series Working Stiffs, which showcased his comedic talent and led to a co-starring role in the comedy Night Shift directed by Ron Howard. This was his breakout role as the fast-talking schemer Bill Blaze Blaze Jowski earned Keaton some critical acclaim. Night Shift led to Keaton becoming a leading man in the landmark comedy hit MR. Mom, which was met with universal acclaim. Keaton was pigeonholed as a comic lead during this time with films like Johnny Dangerously, Gun Home, The Squeeze, The Dream Team, though Keaton tried to transition to dramatic leads as early as 1984, playing a hockey player in Touch and Go, which was shelved until 1986. Woody Allen cast Keaton as the lead in The Purple Rose of Cairo the following year, but after filming began Allen felt Keaton was too modern and res hot as scenes with Jeff Daniels in the final film, further delaying his transition to drama in the public eye. When Touch and Go was finally released in 1986 the studio was still unsure of how to market the film, making the poster similar to MR. Mom, 
which resulted in failure at the box office. 1988 was the seminal year in Keaton's career where landed two major unconventional roles, forever changing his image to audiences. He played the title character in Tim Burton's horror comedy Beetlejuice, earning Keaton widespread acclaim and boosting him to Hollywood's a list. He originally turned down the role, then reconsidered like most of the cast. He now considers Beetlejuice his favorite of his own films. That same year, he also gave an acclaimed dramatic performance as a drug-addicted realtor in Glenn Gordon Caron's Clean and Sober. Keaton's career was given another major boost when he was again cast by Tim Burton, this time as the title comic book superhero of 1989's Batman. Warner Brothers received thousands of letters of complaint by fans who believed Keaton was the wrong choice to portray Batman. However, Keaton's performance in the role ultimately earned widespread acclaim from both critics and audiences, and Batman became one of the most successful films of 1989. According to Les Daniels's reference book Batman, The Complete History, Keaton was not surprised when he was first considered as Batman as he initially believed the film would be similar to the 1960s television series starring Adam West. It was only after he was introduced to Frank Miller's comic book miniseries, The Dark Knight Returns, that Keaton really understood the dark and brooding side of Batman that he portrayed to much fan approval. Keaton later reprised the role for the sequel Batman Returns, which was another critically acclaimed success. He was initially set to reprise the role again for a third Batman film, even going as far as to show up for costume fitting. However, when Burton was dropped as director of the film, Keaton left the franchise as well. He was reportedly dissatisfied with the screenplay approved by the new director, Joel Schumacher. According to the R&D biography episode on Keaton, after he had refused the first time, Warner Brothers offered him $15 million, but Keaton steadfastly refused and was replaced by Val Kilmer in Batman Forever. Keaton remained active during the 1990s, appearing in a wide range of films, including Pacific Heights, One Good Cop, My Life, and the star-studded Shakespearean story Much Ado About Nothing. He starred in the paper in Multiplicity, and twice in the same role, that of Elmore Leonard character agent Ray Nicolette, in the films Jackie Brown and Out of Sight. He made the family holiday movie Jack Frost and the thriller Desperate Measures. Keaton starred as a political candidate speechwriter in 1994 Speechless. In the early 2000s, Keaton appeared in several films with mixed success, including Live from Baghdad, First Daughter, White Noise and Herbie, Fully Loaded. While he continued to receive good notices from the critics, he was not able to reapproach the box office success of Batman until the release of Disney Ford slash Pixar's Cars, in which he voiced Chick Hicks. On New Year's Day of 2004, he hosted the PBS TV special Mr. Rogers, America's favorite neighbor. It was released by Triumph Marketing LLC on DVD the 28th of September, 2004. In 2006, he starred in Game 6, about the 1986 World Series bid by the Boston Red Sox. He had a cameo in the Tenacious D short film Time Fixes, an iTunes exclusive. The nine-minute film was released to coincide with Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. Keaton reportedly was cast as Jack Shepard in the series Lost, with the understanding that the role of Jack would be a brief one. Once the role was retooled to be a long-running series regular, Keaton withdrew. The part was then given to actor Matthew Fox. The show ran for six seasons, with the Shepherd role continuing throughout. Keaton starred in the 2007 TV miniseries The Company, set during the Cold War, in which he portrayed the real-life CIA counterintelligence chief James Jesus Angleton. The role garnered Keaton a 2008 Screen Actors Guild nomination for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Movie or Miniseries. Keaton provided the voice of Ken in Toy Story 3, the film received overwhelmingly positive acclaim and grossed over $1 billion worldwide, making it one of the most financially successful films ever. He announced in June 2010 his interest in returning for a Beetlejuice sequel. He played Captain Gene Mosh in the comedy The Other Guys. In 2014 he played the Omnicorp CEO Raymond Sellers in the Robocop remake as a more active antagonist, taking Robocop's wife in child hostage making Joel Ken Ammon's character struggle to overcome the fourth directive. Keaton starred alongside Zach Galifianakis, Edward Norton, Emma Stone, and Naomi Watts in Birdman or 
playing Regan Thompson, the screen actor, famous for playing the iconic titular superhero, who puts on a Broadway play based on the Raymond Carver short story to regain his former glory. He won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy for his portrayal of Thompson and received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In 2015, Keaton appeared as Walter V. Robinson in Tom McCarthy's Academy Award-winning film Spotlight, and in 2016, he starred as businessman Ray Kroc in the biopic The Founder. On 28 July 2016, Keaton was honored with a 2. 585th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions to film. The star is located at 6931 Hollywood, Boulevard. In 2017, Keaton played the supervillain the Vulture in Spider-Man, Homecoming and Stan Hurley in American Assassin. In 2019, he played the villain in Disney's live-action adaptation of Dumbo directed by Tim Burton, co-starring with Colin Farrell and Eva Green. It has been reported that Keaton will star in Goodrich, a film about a man whose second wife suddenly leaves him, forcing him to take sole care of their nine-year-old twins. Directed by Hallie Mayer Shire, filming was set to commence on 1 October 2019. He will also appear in the film Morbius, scheduled to be released on 31 July 2020. Keaton was married to Caroline McWilliams from 1982 to 1990. They had one son, John, in 1983. He had a relationship with actress Courtney Cox from 1989 to 1995. Keaton, a longtime Pittsburgh resident and fan of its sports teams, negotiated a break in his Batman movie contract in case the Pittsburgh Pirates made the playoffs that year, although they ultimately did not. He also wrote an ESPN blog on the Pirates during the final months of their 2013 season. In the 1980s, Keaton bought a ranch near Big Timber, Montana, where he spends much of his time. An avid fisherman, he is often seen on the saltwater fishing series Buccaneers and Bones on Outdoor Channel, along with Tom Brokaw, Zach Guilford, Thomas McWayne and Evan Schwinard, among others. Keaton endorsed Hillary Clinton for president in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. In 2019, he appeared in a petite campaign, asking tourists not to visit operations that exploit animals, such as roadside zoos which sometimes offer the opportunity to get selfies with wild animals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.